Hello friends, I am Shamshuddin. I welcome you financial accounting classes. In this class, I am going to discuss the model paper of financial accounting NEP scheme degree examination. The time allotted for this examination is 2 hours and maximum marks allotted is 60 marks. Instructions are given in this question paper. Attempt all sections according to internal choice. Use simple and unprogrammable calculator is allowed. Let us discuss question paper based on section wise. Section A consists of 7 questions out of which student must write answer for 5 questions. Each question carries 2 marks. 2 marks into 5 questions equivalent to 10 marks. Question number 1. Answer any 5 of the following. What is self-balancing? Who is consigner? What is a royalty? What is single entry system? Who is co-venturer? Why statement of affairs is prepared? How do you treat irrecoverable short workings? Let us move to section B. Section B consists of five questions out of which student must write four questions. Four questions carries five marks each. Four into five is equivalent to 20 marks. The total marks allotted for B section is 20 marks. The question number 2. Distinguish between joint venture and partnership. The student must write at least 5 points for each difference. Question number 3. From the following information, prepare a royalty chart. Sunil Minerals Limited leased a property from Akash at a royalty of Rs. 1.50 per ton with a minimum rent of Rs. 10,000 per annum. Each year's excess of minimum rent over the royalties is recoverable out of the royalties of next three years. In the event of strike, the lessee provides for the proportional reduction of minimum rent for, the, for that year. Accounts are to be settled every year on 31st December. The annual output for five years was as follows. 2015, 4000, 2016, 5000, 2017, 6000, 2018, 10000, 2019, 4000. But 2019, there is a strike for three months. You must reduce the minimum rent proportionate to the three months. Question number four. Mohan bought goods of the value of rupees 10,000 and consigned them to Sukesh to be sold on joint venture, profits being divided equally. He paid rupees 500 for freight and insurance and drew on Sukesh for rupees 3,000. Sukesh paid rupees 300 for storage and rupees 200 for rent. The sales realized rupees 20,000 and sales expenses of rupees 700 paid by Sukesh. The final payment is made by Sukesh after deducting 10% commission on gross sales by bank draft. Prepare joint venture and Sukesh account in the books of Mohan. Question number 4. From the following particulars, prepare the total debtors account and total creditors account. Sundry debtors as on 1-4-2020, rupees 12,800. 
Sandy debtors as on 31st 12 2020 rupees 9800 Sandy debtors as on 1 4 2020 question number 5 from the following particulars prepare the total debtors account and total creditors account sandy debtors as on 1 1 2020 rupees 12800 Sandy debtors as on 31st 12, 2020 rupees 9800. Sandy creditors as on 1 1 2020 rupees 7600. Sandy creditors as on 1 1 31st as on 31st 12, 2020 rupees 9030. Cash received from debtors rupees 6400. Cash paid to creditors rupees 1750 discount allowed rupees 350 discount received rupees 250 bills received from debtors rupees 2500 acceptances given to creditors rupees 5870 bad debts rupees 300 you have to find out from the above particulars credit purchases and credit sales that is given in question mark question number six rajaram consigned thousand kg of oil to gangaram at rupees 15 per kg he paid rupees 3000 for transportation and packing 100 kg of oil was lost in a transit Gangaram sold 660 kg of oil incurring rupees 200 as selling expenses. He reported that there was a normal leakage of 20 kgs. Find out the abnormal loss and value of closing stock. Let us discuss section C questions. Section C contains 5 questions out of which students must solve four problems. In four problems, the problem number 11 is a compulsory. It means that from 7, 8, 9, 10, out of four questions, the student must write two questions and the 11th question is a compulsory. Each question carries 10 marks, 10 into 3, is 30 marks. Section C starts question number 7. Explain the steps in conversion of single entry into double entry system of bookkeeping. Problem number 8. Reddy Coal Company took a mine on lease from a landlord at a royalty of rupees 4 per ton of coal raised with a minimum rent of rupees 80,000 per annum. The other terms of agreement were as follows. First one, each year's excess of minimum rent over royalty earned shall be recoverable out of the excess royalties of next two years only. In the event of strike, actual royalties earned shall discharge all the rental obligations for that year. The results of the first four years were 2015 output is 10,000 tons, 2016 output is 15,000 tons, 2017 25,000 tons. 2018 output is 30,000 but in 2016 there is a strike the strike period is not given it is assumed that 15,000 tons is taken the production for that particular year and 15,000 into 4 per ton it is 60,000 which is considered as minimum rent. Based on these details, prepare a royalty account, landlord account and short workings account in the books of 
रेड्डी कोल कंपनी लिमिटेड क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइन फ्रॉम द फॉलोइंग ट्रांजैक्शंस प्रिपेयर द नेसेसरी लेजर एडजस्टमेंट अकाउंट्स एज ऑन थर्टी फर्स्ट ट्वेल्व टू थाउजेंड सिक्सटीन इन द रेस्पेक्टिव लेजर्स विच आर मेंटेन्ड ऑन सेल्फ बैलेंसिंग सिस्टम द डिटेल्स आर गिवन एज अंडर बैलेंसेस ऑफ डेटर्स ऑन वन वन टू थाउजेंड सिक्सटीन डेबिट फिफ्टी टू थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड बैलेंस ऑफ डेटर्स एज ऑन वन वन टू थाउजेंड सिक्सटीन क्रेडिट फोर थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड चेक्स रिसीव्ड फ्रॉम डेटर्स ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड क्रेडिट सेल्स रुपीज टू लैख फिफ्टी थाउजेंड कैश सेल्स रुपीज टेन थाउजेंड सेंड्री चार्जिस डेबिटेड टू डेटर्स रुपीज हंड्रेड कैश रिसीव्ड फ्रॉम डेटर्स रुपीज वन लैख ट्वेंटी वन थाउजेंड थ्री हंड्रेड गुड्स रिटर्न फ्रॉम डेटर्स रुपीज टू थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड डिस्काउंट अलाउड टू डेटर्स रुपीज नाइन हंड्रेड बैड डेट्स रिटर्न ऑफ रुपीज टू थाउजेंड फोर हंड्रेड चेक्स डिजॉनर्ड बाय डेटर्स रुपीज फोर थाउजेंड ट्रांसफर फ्रॉम क्रेडिटर्स लेजर टू डेटर्स लेजर फाइव थाउजेंड नाइन हंड्रेड फोर्टी बैलेंस ऑफ डेटर्स ऑन थर्टी फर्स्ट ट्वेल्व टू थाउजेंड सिक्सटीन क्रेडिट रुपीज फोर थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड फिफ्टी बेस्ड ऑन दीज डिटेल्स प्रिपेर डेटर्स लेजर अकाउंट एंड क्रेडिटर्स लेजर अकाउंट एंड जनरल लेजर एडजस्टमेंट अकाउंट क्वेश्चन नंबर टेन Madhavan keeps books under single entry system prepare trading account and profit and loss account for the year ending 31st 3 2020 and also balance sheet as on that date from the following details statement of affairs as on 1 4 2019 capital rupees 1 lakh creditors rupees थर्टी थ्री थाउजेंड बिल्स पेएबल रुपीज सेवन थाउजेंड इन असेट साइड बिल्डिंग रुपीज फिफ्टी थाउजेंड प्लांट एंड मशीनरी रुपीज फोर्टी थाउजेंड फर्नीचर रुपीज ट्वेल्व थाउजेंड स्टॉक रुपीज टेन थाउजेंड डेटर्स रुपीज फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड बिल्स रिसीवेबल रुपीज सेवन थाउजेंड कैश इन हैंड रुपीज सिक्स थाउजेंड टोटल ऑफ बोथ साइड रुपीज वन लैख फोर्टी थाउजेंड Second says statement receipts and payment account for the year ending thirty first three two thousand twenty. The opening balance of receipt and payment account rupees six thousand. Cash sales rupees forty thousand. Debtors rupees thirty seven thousand. Bills receivable rupees seven thousand. And payment side cash purchase is rupees thirty two thousand. Creditors rupees seventy thousand, bills payable rupees sixteen thousand, wages rupees four thousand, carriage inwards rupees one thousand, salary rupees eight thousand eight hundred, stationery rupees one thousand, sundry expenses rupees three thousand two hundred, drawings rupees fourteen thousand, balance carried down rupees two thousand. The total of both side is rupees. One lakh fifty-three thousand. Other transactions for the year two thousand nineteen-twenty. Credit sales rupees one lakh twenty thousand. Credit purchases rupees seventy thousand. Discount allowed rupees two thousand five hundred. Discount earned rupees two thousand. Sales returns rupees six thousand. Purchase returns rupees three thousand. Bills receivable received rupees. Eighteen thousand bills payable accepted rupees one fourteen thousand bad debts rupees five hundred stock on thirty first three two thousand twenty rupees sixteen thousand additional information first one depreciate building at ten percent and twenty 
plant and machinery at 15 percent furniture depreciate rupees 2000 here in case of furniture the amount of depreciation is given there is no need to calculate let us charge to p and l account rupees 2000 and same should be deducted in balance sheet rupees 2000 the last item is make a provision for doubtful debts at 10 percentage on debtors 11th question is the last question which is compulsory question case study based student must solve this question dhanraj of dhanbad consigned goods costing rupees 30000 to basaya of bangalore dhanraj paid rupees 1000 for freight and rupees 200 for insurance Four fifth of goods were sold by Basaya for rupees fifty thousand. His expenses were rupees five hundred for unloading and a commission for himself rupees five thousand. He settled the account demand draft. Prepare consignment account in the books of Dhanraj, assuming that case one, the entries are made at cost price. case 2 the entries are made at invoice price and invoiced them so as to show 25% profit on cost thank you jai hind